What's going on? What's going on, man? It's Richard Faye TV, man. I got my guy Bucky in the building. All the way from goddamn Chicago. Came to fuck with the kid. If y'all y'all look him in his face, though, this is the same guy that was trying to knock NBA young boy ass out in the mall, man. Shit, bro. Pop your shit on. Oh, yeah, man. You already know I go by the name of Bunky Rex, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know about me, get in tune. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But long story short, you feel me? Motherfucker came to the A, you feel me, the pursuit of dream, you know what I'm saying? Chase, chase a bag, you feel me, whatever you want to call it, you feel me. Going to the mall, you sh going to the mall and shit, you feel me. What's at the mall? What's what, what it's called? Linux. Linux, yeah, Linux. Yeah, yeah, Linux and shit, you feel me. I guess it's like the biggest mall in the land or whatever. The famous mall or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I go in that motherfucker, you feel me, go a little shopping with my homie. So then, you know I'm saying, my homie people, you feel me, I don't really be checking for niggas, you feel me. My homie like them. Ain't that young boy? Something like shit. I don't know, shit, is it? You feel me? So yeah. I go back, you feel me? After he tell me, like, yeah, that's young boy, I'm, I'm finna go get a pick with him and shit, da, da, da. Say what's up to him. So, motherfucker, you feel me? Go greet him and shit, he get on some humbug shit, you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, shit. like, turn straight Hollywood, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm a fan groupie type shit. So I instantly, you feel me, tee up on him, you feel mm -hmm. me? I'm saying, motherfucker, you feel me? Treated them, disrespecting all type of shit, you feel me? You went on shit, you feel me, motherfuckers. Then the cameras came on, you feel me? So, you know, motherfuckers gotta perform, protect their image, all type of shit, man. So. Cool, cool. Let me ask you a question. What What are some ways in that situation right there you think that you, both of you guys could have dealt with that in a better situation? Like, y'all both could have said what y'all had to say respectfully without all the cameras, without all the hoorah, hoorah shit. Like, what are some better ways you could have dealt with that? Or he could have dealt with it, you could have dealt with it. When you look back at it, like, do you think that could have been, that was a little bit too much, or it was just really a misunderstanding? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was, you feel me? I don't know. I can't even say. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your rap career. I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to cut you out. Say what you got to say. But I feel like the situation could have been escalated, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers, you feel me, just with a, you know what I'm saying, got on the Insta Snap, you know what I'm saying, and did, didn't do all that group, treat me like a group and all that humbug shit, you feel me, so. But, it is what it is, bro. Cool. So, going forward, man, going forward with your music career, and you know, once you make it, because you're going to make it, and you might step to somebody that do the same thing, but don't do it in a more of a disrespectful manner, how would you deal with that? Are you talking about as far as me in the situation that he was yeah. in? Oh shit, I'm gonna just, you feel me? I'm gonna be humble, you feel me? Stay humble, you feel me? I remember where I came from. And I turned Hollywood on my people, you feel me? Cool. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, you know why a person would want a picture, you feel me? Like, if I'm a rapper, you feel me? And you know I'm trying to get to your level, like, why wouldn't you, you feel me, try to embrace the next man and try to uplift him and motivate him? Yeah, you feel me? That's where you came from, you feel me, the struggle. So you say, you feel me? But, so let me ask you about your name, Bunky Rax. Why they call you Bunky Rax? Uh, well, my my family gave me the name Bunky. You know what I'm saying when I was little. You feel me? So, so it's a real authentic name. It's yeah. a genuine name. It ain't that's, no, the, that's my nickname right for real. Yeah, you feel me? So. so what made you want to start rapping? Shit. Really, my nephew. You feel me? Like I've been rapping, playing with it and shit. But I'm saying, I ain't really take it serious. You feel me? Then my nephew start rapping, so shit. I got to see what he was doing, so I'm like, I'm gonna start rapping, you feel me? So shit. After he passed, you know I'm saying that's when I really started like pursuing it. You feel me? Like, fuck it. I'm gonna just leave the block. You feel me? And go chase chase my dreams, you feel me? So that's how I came in Atlanta. You feel me? You know what I'm saying to pursue that. So take us through the process of dream chasing. You know, having to do what you gotta do to stay down. Like, you know, a lot of people have dreams and they dreams, it doesn't require them to work a nine to five. They have to really get out here every day, push themselves, put themselves out here. So take us through the process of your dream chasing. Shit, my process, shit. Like, you talking about the steps I, like. The steps you have to take. Like, there's a lot of steps, you feel me? Like, there's different steps for different people, but the steps I took. I don't even know how to break it down to the people. Like, yeah. So with you making that jump 
from Chicago, then moving to Atlanta. Take me through that process. Because this is different. I'm not, from what I'm told is it's fast up there, slow, slow down here. So having to change pace of lifestyle, how how did how did that affect you? Oh, it affected me a lot, you feel me? Like, like basically the process I took, you, you basically got to risk everything, you feel me? You know I'm saying? It's all about sacrificing, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I sacrificed being with my daughter, my family behind, you feel me? Like, sac sacrifice being a whole different other environment, you feel me? Whole different mindset, you feel me? I'm trying to switch gears to positive and, you know I'm saying, lead a negative in Chicago. So it's all about your mental, you feel me? And just how bad you want in your work ethic, you feel me? Oh, shit. What kind of what kind of love and support are you getting from your family members back at home? Like, you know, you know that shit be bittersweet, you feel me? Like. It's like, they want a nigga, you feel me, to be stuck in the same, be, be in the same situation, you feel me, and, and not and not progress, you feel me. I guess they mad because I'm moving too fast, or they mad because I'm trying to be something in life, you feel me. So, you know how that shit go, you feel me. My father look at their life, you know what I'm saying, they look at mine, they think mine better, you feel me, but it's, it's all, you feel me, what you want to do with your life, you feel me. Because you made a sacrifice. Yeah. Took the risk. It's all about risk taking too. You can't be scared. You gotta believe in yourself. Cause if you don't believe in yourself, ain't nobody gonna believe in you. Feel me? So. so, who you said your um your nephew motivated you to want to do music though? But so what kind of motivation your daughter give you? This me. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, my daughter, she she definitely motivated me. You feel me? Of course. Yeah. You feel me? She motivated me every time. You feel me? I see her. When I don't see her, when I look at her pictures, you feel me? When I think about. It. See the reason I go hard, you feel me? To get out that situation, you feel me? Like, I'm basically trying to get custody of my daughter, you feel me? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because I don't get to see when I want to see it, you feel me? Like, you know how that go, baby mama drum. So dealing with those type of things, trying to get custody of your daughter, and also trying to chase your dream, does it get a little overwhelming to you? Yeah, sometimes, you feel me? But that's when I just sit back, you feel me? Yeah. Just, and just think how blessed I am to even make it out of Chicago, you feel me? Yeah, because you're 20, how old are you? You say you're 26, right? Yeah, I'm 26. For you to be 26, yeah. for you to live to see 26 in Chicago this long, though, man, you're, it's, it's meant for you to be on, on earth, you feel me? It's meant for you to be here. So when you see that God give you those type of blessings, because even though the little situation happened with you and NBA young boy, that was a blessing for people to, like, see your face. A lot of people haven't had a big break like that. That was a big break for you. Even though it was a negative break, but it still was a big break. So how do you take a negative and turn it into a positive? So you basically just take that negative and you just put out good music, you feel me? Nothing. I'm saying leave that situation alone, you know what I'm saying? What's done is done with that situation, you feel me? I ain't even looking back on the situation no more, you feel me? Like, it's squashed with me, you feel me? Like, with me, all it is is competition, you feel me? Like, at the end of the day, if I'm trying to make it, you feel me? So I put out good music, man, you know what I'm saying? Cool, so where you see your music career going for five years from now? Five years from now? My man's lost the lighter, man. He, he got a fire man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he lost the lighter, man. He, he, he still going. Five, no, but, yeah, five right years, side, yeah. but five years from now, though, I'm going to be the greatest. Mm -hmm. I'm saying like on some Tupac shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't even know no cocky shit. You just know that? Yeah. You feel it in your heart? Yeah. That's what's up. That's I what's feel up. Like, I feel like LeBron, you feel me, the chosen one. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I do feel like LeBron, but at the end of the day, you feel me? Everybody hate him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For what? Because he the greatest, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of the greatest, you feel me? I'm saying you know MJ the greatest, but nah, I mean you know, <laughs> you, know you know MJ the greatest, you feel me? LeBron Ron is a goat. You know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna lay on some shit sideways. I'm saying motherfucker hate on LeBron, how they hate on me, you feel me? Like yeah. they don't never give me my credit, but motherfucker. And you better stop it, you feel me? So, do you think all that hate will ever bring you currency? What you mean? All that hate will ever bring you money, wealth? As far as me hating on people? Or? No, no, of course you're not hating on nobody, but them hating on you. Like, you taking the hate and it's bringing you currency, it's bringing you money, it's bringing you... The hate is making you... Yeah, the hate is, the yeah. hate, the hate is motivating me, you yeah. feel me? So, I, I encourage the hate, you feel me? Like, if you ain't hating on me, I'm, I'm not doing something right, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. obviously, I'm doing something right, you feel me? So, I encourage all the hate, you feel me? That's why I got a song I call Haters. Mm -hmm. You gonna check me? that out, too. Like, hey, spit the Instagram real quick. Oh, yeah. And, like, 
That's it. No. Yeah. Hey, so, um, hey, bro. So, what you been working on? Since after the situation you got into with old dude, we gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? After that situation, though, has that make you more focused musically? What have you been working on? And what's coming out? So, I heard, I know you got a single. So, what's coming out? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely working on the single. I motherfucker would have been dropped. I would have been dropped the video, but motherfucker did some fool shit. I'm saying right enough with the video, I'm saying all type of fool shit, you feel me? So it's a hold on that, you feel me? But the bus and surgery video is dropping, you feel me? So be on the lookout for that. I'm saying I'm dropping my mixtape right after that, you feel me? Called Done Dreaming, you feel me? I'm saying so. Be on the lookout for that. That motherfucker gonna be straight heat, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can relate to that motherfucker. Everybody can vibe, bump to it, you feel me? So when that bitch drop, make sure you pick that bitch up, download it, stream it, share it, like, subscribe, all that shit, you feel me? Cause I'm the next big thing popping. You feel me? No cap. 2K team will get these niggas hell, man. And make sure y'all go support my man Bucky Mixtape, man. So after the mixtape, the visuals, the videos, like put us up on game on how we gonna find the videos and all that shit. Oh uh, yeah, it's all gonna be on mine. You know what I'm saying if it ain't on nobody, another blogger page is gonna definitely be on mine, you know what I'm saying channel. I'm posting. You know what I'm saying that be on mine. MQE Bunky Rex, you feel me? That's MQE Bunky Rex, subscribe to the channel, you feel me? I'm saying, check out my video that's out now. You feel me? Haters. You know I'm saying, all that shit. You know I'm saying, it's, it's the new wave. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So, how often do you feel like you. All right, but that's what I want to ask you. When you're in the studio, what are some things you need in the studio that lock you in? Oh, yeah, you already know. I need I need a 3 5 allowed. You feel me? You know what I'm saying, some backwoods. You feel me? You know what I'm saying. And you know I'm saying, probably like a couple of lean, you feel me? Follow my Instagram at Bunky underscore Rex. You know what I'm saying? That's B U N K Y underscore R A C K Z. Rex with a Z, you feel me? Follow my uh, YouTube channel too. Subscribe to my shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. MQE Bunky Rex, you feel me? That's the movement. MQE Money Quality Entertainment, you feel me? You already know I be coming, man. You already know I be rocking, man. Gang shit, never lane switch. You know what I'm saying, like you suck ass niggas, man. Stay down till I came up, man. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Put God first, you feel me? You already know it. You know what I'm gonna make it, you feel me? No matter how bad they want me to make it, you feel me? This shit already written, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So. That's what's up, man. I like that, man. Like, you know, Rich and Faye TV is about getting the guys like me that's trying to come up and, and end up at the top, you feel me? So I like to work at the man. Um, we finna check up out of here, man. Anything you wanna say before we slide, though, dog? All I can say, for anybody out there that got a dream, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Ignore the people that say you can't do it, say it's too hard, say you never make it. They just scared that you is gonna make it, you feel me? So keep going, keep doing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? And put God first, keep praying on it and work. That's your dream every day, you feel me? And never give up, you know what I'm saying? Never quit. If you quit, you lose, you feel me? So just keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Stay down until you come up. And that's it, man. We out. Wow. And it's Richard Faye TV, man. You know what I'm saying? We're working each and every day, homes. Huh? Yeah.